Welcome back again, everyone. My name is Lauren Christensen, and I'm one of your Brian LifePoint registered dietitians. I've shared a couple editions of What's for Supper Lunch and also a, an episode of What's for Brunch. So I thought I would also take you, um, give you some options for dessert. And so within this episode, that's going to be our emphasis. Uh, I know as we head into some of these summer months and are maybe considering um, how our like 4th of July celebrations and uh, grill outs might look, we might want some options just to, to have a, a sweeter kind of component to that. But I think the biggest thing that I want to get across here is that dessert can always be incorporated. The two things that come into play our moderation and portion control. We certainly don't want people depriving themselves of the things that they enjoy, but we have to focus on those two elements. As an extra bonus, if we can make sure that those desserts are a little bit more nutrient dense, then that is something that you know is even better. So that's hoping that's what I'm hoping to provide for you today. So let's get into it. Uh, one of the fan favorites in my household, and again, super easy, which is something that I love, and my kids think it's fun, so they're super into it, and my husband and I also enjoy this, but it's just doing a, a little bit of a different take on your traditional fruit pizza. Typically, a fruit pizza would involve like a sugar cookie crust, so you're obviously adding a lot more calories, a lot more sugar content there. But instead of that, we replace it with just sliced watermelon. So all you have to do is slice up a watermelon and top it with your favorite fruits. Um, for some additional variations, you can also add some unsweetened shredded coconut, some white chocolate that you shave little bits on, or you can do my personal favorite and add this Greek yogurt, uh, a Greek yogurt layer to it as well. So with the Greek yogurt, I traditionally opt for a plain Greek yogurt, so 16 ounces, and then two teaspoons of lemon juice, a teaspoon of honey, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And you may be saying, why don't I just get the vanilla Greek yogurt? What I love about this is that it puts you more in the driver's seat in terms of the sugar content of that Greek yogurt. Even vanilla flavored yogurts can really kick up in terms of, of the sugar content. So again, this puts you a little bit more in that driver's seat, but allows you to still come up with something very, very tasty. So spreading just a layer of that on, and then my personal go-to would be berries, although I do like a little bit of kiwi as well. But you could also chop up a little bit of fresh mint and that will add some additional um, flavor there for you. Again, super easy. You make it how you see fit. On my other episodes, I did share nutrition content. Obviously, that's going to vary quite a bit depending on the variations and the types of fruits that you choose and the quantity of fruits that you choose. But you can still walk away feeling really good about using this as a dessert option and, and knowing that you're getting some, some good nutritional benefit from the things that you are adding in there. Another just quick and easy recipe that is a fan favorite within my household is this chocolate raspberry mousse. And so again, you're gonna start out with some plain Greek yogurt. You can do then two tablespoons of an instant chocolate pudding mix, and you can opt for sugar-free or the regular, whatever works best for you. If you're trying to look at it from an overall carb standpoint, the sugar-free may be a better option for you. And then two teaspoons of mini chocolate chips. I generally opt for dark chocolate. Um, it adds a little bit more of a, um, a flavor boost to me and you're getting some really great antioxidants. So chocolate can certainly fit in moderation. And then a cup of fresh raspberries. So for this, all you're gonna do is mix the Greek yogurt and the instant pudding mix together until well combined and then divide it into two portions. A lot of times I'll separate it out even a little bit further. It is pretty rich, so um, a little bit goes a long way there. And then you're just gonna sprinkle on your mini chocolate chips, add in your berries and enjoy.
So again, something super quick, super easy, um, and super tasty, which is one of the main elements that we're after here. In terms of nutrition for this, for if you're doing it for two servings, one serving or a half serving of the full recipe would come out to 129 calories, two grams of fat, 16 grams of carbohydrates, only 53 milligrams of sodium, some great protein in this particular dessert, which is a, a really great bonus here, 12 grams of, of protein, and then really good uh, fiber content as well at four grams. I cannot take credit for this recipe. This comes from a colleague, friend of mine. And so the original recipe and photo did come from her blog at Stirlist. So I just wanted to make sure credit was given where due. As I've shared multiple times within my sign-offs, you know, using every or every time that you eat as an opportunity to nourish your body is something that I, I would strongly want people to emphasize and incorporate. And that includes enjoying dessert time too. So if you do have further questions, feel free to reach out to me at lauren.christensen at brianhealth.org. Until next time, I hope you all stay very healthy and very well, and I hope to see you soon. Thanks everyone.